it seems the physical sales for Star Wars Battlefront 2 are down quite a bit in comparison to Battlefront 1 in the UK. So let's talk about that right now, shall we? What is going on, guys? Randall Thor 19 back again with another video. And it has been a terrible, terrible week for Electronic Arts. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was in the news constantly attacked by gamers for the loot box and microtransaction system. So much so that Disney had to call up EA and raise their concerns and that all of that led to the loot boxes getting removed from the game. Now, now we have information coming from the UK, as they always do their weekly game charts, that, well, Star Wars Battlefront 2 physical sales, now this doesn't include digital, so keep that in mind, uh, they're down a whopping, a huge, a meteoric 60% on Battlefront 1, which came out two years ago and was like the biggest ever launch for a Star Wars game in the UK. So the question is, how is it down so much? And will digital pick up the slack? I mean, we know that digital is ever increasing, uh, 20 to 30 to maybe even 40% on the high end. But something tells me that digital is not going to account for the precipitous drop on this one now what could potentially be the reasons for this huge decline well there is the the loot box fiax fiasco which you know there are a lot of people out there who decided to skip out on the game uh, wait for eventual sales i think that is factored into it also don't negate or think that a lot of people didn't like the first game so that could attend, you know, that has a lot of bearing on this one. If you didn't like Star Wars Battlefront 1, you may be more inclined not to buy Star Wars Battlefront 2. And it is, it is also coming out at the end of the huge uh, AAA season. We've seen a lot of games come out from October to this point in November. You know, we've had Evil Within 2, we've had Wolfenstein, Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, launches of Xbox One X. A lot of money has been spent on a lot of different games leading up to it, and maybe some people just don't have the extra cash laying around to buy Star Wars Battlefront 2. But what we have seen is EA stock price plummet. Like, their stock has been down ever since they removed microtransactions. And it is a pretty bad situation for EA because this game was supposed to sell tens of millions, if not 20s of millions of copies. And a lot of analysts are projecting that they're not going to reach that 15 million milestone, that it's going to be way down in comparison to the first. And it just makes you wonder, how did EA screw up a sure thing? This is Star Wars we're talking about here folks this is about as a sure thing as you can get the movies are making bank billions of dollars the first star wars battlefront uh didn't even have a campaign didn't even have a lot of modes or stuff in the original and that one sold 15 million plus copies now they added a campaign campaign all this stuff and it was primed to do better than the original and yet here we are, physical sales are down 60% in the UK. And the UK and the US tend to mirror each other quite a bit. So I, I think this will happen here as well in the United States. I think people will refrain from buying the game physically. Although I can see more people buying this uh, digitally on the because of, you know, it's a multiplayer focused title similar to Destiny 2. Uh, you want... You want to have that ready to go at all times on your hard drive. So I can see more people buying it that way. But I just don't see digital increasing enough to match the physical sales being down so much that they are. And it's just, this is, should be a story that other game developers and publishers talk about. How not to screw up a sure thing. How to keep your microtransactions in check. This... Everybody needs to just study the story and be like, don't do what EA did because they screwed the pooch on this one. But 
I mean, what else are you going to do? It is EA, and EA is going to EA. They shut down studios one day to buy another studio the next, and they just want to cram microtransactions and loot boxes down our throat in all of their games. And unfortunately, or for them, unfortunately for EA, uh, gamers reacted to this one. So much so they got the attention of Big Daddy Disney, and Big Daddy Disney didn't like all the negative press that Star Wars was getting, and here we are. No more microtransactions, and Star Wars Battlefront 2 is probably not going to catch up to the sales of Star Wars Battlefront 1, and that is a complete miss on EA's part. Anyways, guys, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think digital can make up the 60% difference in the drop? Although, I don't really think so, but I'm interested in seeing what other people think about this. Uh, did you pick the game up? If you did let me know what you think about star wars battlefront 2 in the comments if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button consider subscribing to the channel for more content I hit the notification bell so you're always notified when i do drop said content and i'll see everybody in the next video later guys